I do some pretty dangerous crap. Whether it's wrestling alligators, picking up rattlesnakes, or trying to sit in a boat without looking. Jesus Christ! <laughs> but while hiking through the swamps of southeast Texas, I came across an animal I didn't think I'd ever have the guts to take on. It's been called by many names. The Great Calamity. The Fifth Horseman of the Apocalypse. But one name has wrought through the annals of time more than any other. A harbinger of the untold destruction this creature brings upon the earth. The long-nosed shrimp weasel. This creature is so terrifying that the internet blocks all search results talking about it. But today, for the first time in human history, I will expose all the dark secrets this abomination has to hide. But first, I have to catch it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we got it! We got it! Oh, I've been looking for one of these for so long. This right here is a long nosed shrimp weasel. Oh my god, this is the first one I've ever found in the wild. Whew! I, I need to compose myself. This is, this is probably this is, this is what's gonna make me blow up. So this right here is the long nosed shrimp weasel. As you can see, it's a very streamlined predator fully adapted for an aquatic lifestyle. As you see, he has webbed feet, which enables him to paddle through the water and this torpedo-like body, just gonna shoot through there, looking for his favorite prey, of course, shrimp. Now these are specialist shrimp hunters, and their native range is actually in the Chesapeake Bay area, sort of the northeastern United States, but they've made their way down here as little sort of vermin on shrimp boats, traveling down to southeast texas using the shrimp for the gumbo recipes and these guys would find their way into the little shrimp wells that they'd bring back so now they're taking over now shrimp weasels are a very unique group of animals because they're not weasels at all they're actually monotremes so what a monotreme is is an egg laying mammal and if you look right here you can tell we have a female because of this long pronounced ovipositor she's going to stick this into the soil and lay her eggs we're going to try and find her nest around here she's definitely been guarding it that's why she was so aggressive towards me so we're going to hunt around and look for those eggs Alrighty, guys i'm pretty sure we found a nest so you can see this large mound-like structure what this is is essentially a compost heap so it's going to keep these eggs nice and warm and safe from any predators so we're going to look see if she's buried anything here they don't usually lay a lot of eggs Oh my gosh, here we are. Look at that. Woo! Man, you don't come across days like this very much. Look at that. Is this your egg? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really sorry about showing you guys that graphic content, but it serves a very important message. These creatures are invasive. And I mean, if I let that egg hatch, who knows how many native shrimp species would have suffered. I mean, these guys are really harming this Southeast Texas environment. And if you see one, you have to kill it on site. Like that's the only way. Okay, okay, stand back, stand back. So as you can see right here, um, I didn't think it would actually do this. This is the shrimp weasel's threat display. So right here, it has erected its two uh, defensory antenna. And what these can do is actually shoot a very noxious liquid towards any predator trying to attack. So I'm really not trying to get messed up, especially not my cameraman. So we're gonna try and soothe and calm this. Do not try this at home. This is a very dangerous animal. Let's try and soothe and calm. Okay. All right, okay. <sighs> These animals aren't out to get you. This mother was simply protecting our eggs. And it's truly a tragedy that these creatures ended up here. We don't wanna kill them all. I mean, I want these guys to live, but only in their natural habitat. But since we're here, it's absolutely critical that we annihilate every... <laughs> but since we're here, it's absolutely critical that we have to slaughter every single one of them. Every female, every child, every newborn egg. Every single one of them has to die. <laughs> now, as I said, this is a long-nosed shrimp weasel. The shrimp weasel genus is very large, very diverse, and of course, this species is named after its long, tubular proboscis. Now, what this is gonna allow it to do is to snore through the mud in search of its absolutely favorite food, shrimp, of course. Now, we're actually gonna search for these highly endangered native shrimp species to show you the sort of damage these things can do. All right, so we just arrived at this man-made tin and we're hoping to find some native shrimp species under it. They love using cover like this to hide from predators like the shrimp weasel, but of course they're not as well defended as the shrimp back in the shrimp weasel's native range. So we're gonna hopefully find some live ones to show you the sort of damage these guys do. Oh, there's a, oh my God. Oh my God, what a tragedy. It's really hard to spit out, guys, but as you can see, those that's a family group. 
That is a dead, slaughtered group of native shrimp. Oh my god, this is such a tragedy. These are a very endangered species. These are the Outback Barbie shrimp. And as you can see, they've been killed. And it's really sad having to pick this up. I need to show you guys to educate you. So as you can see, this is how the shrimp weasel works. It grabs its prey, thrashes it so violently that it cooks it to a perfect even temperature. <laughs> then it'll regurgitate just really amazing tasting spices. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie, like the, the palate of this animal is incredible. It really knows how to make a good shrimp, but it's just no, no creature needs to deserve this, let alone a native species. I hate you. So this predator doesn't even have the guts to finish what it started. I mean, it'll just kill this native shrimp and not even eat it. I mean, if that doesn't show you why I have to kill this thing after the camera's cut, I don't know what will. I mean, it's just... I hope you're happy. I really, I really do. Now, before we drown this animal, I have to show... <laughs> now, before we euthanize this animal, we, we have to show you probably what the shrimp weasel is most famous for. It's, uh, it's hunting posture. So what this guy's gonna do is wait at a game trail like this and say a little shrimp is walking by. It's gonna hop, bam, it's dead. It's gonna crush it, crush its windpipe, and then using its long proboscis, as I said, cook it to that critically lethal internal temperature. Now, as you can see, it's covered in the birthing membrane of its newly dead offspring. And as much of an invasive species this is, I can't let it suffer, so. We're gonna cut the cameras, euthanize this animal, and we're gonna make use of every part of it. I mean, the hide of this animal makes a great loincloth. <laughs> its tail can be used to swat flies. I mean, we're gonna use every part of this animal to its full extent, and its death won't be in vain. I'm not a hunter, I don't like killing animals, but this is a necessity, so I'm gonna be right back. Okay, he has his threat display back up. Come on, guys, be be quick, be quick. Oh my god, ow! Oh, no, no, oh my god, no! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Man, guys, put, put Southeast Texas in quite the pickle this time. I mean, I just released probably the worst possible creature into this environment. I mean, I had her in my arms, but she, she was going for my face. I mean, what was I supposed to do? Take a bite in the face from a shrimp weasel? Like, no, no, like, what do you, what do you expect from me at that point? I mean, come on. I mean, I just released a breeding female back into the environment. Like this whole, this whole play, everything you see around you, it's all gonna die. The deer, the trees, the ground. I mean, the trees are dependent on these native shrimp to aerate their roots with oxygen. I mean, like, I can't believe I just did that. The biggest, the biggest blunder of my career. I, from now on, I'm gonna dedicate 100% of my time to getting that shrimp weasel and killing it. Um, if you want to support my cause, please subscribe. I mean, I need the support, I need the funds. I mean, I'm gonna have to get guns, swords, landmines. I mean, I mean, I, I need some money to get this thing. So if you want to subscribe, comment, I need the help. I mean, guys, if you want to see more videos of me targeting shrimp weasels and other invasive species, I mean, we haven't even gotten into the West Malagasy squanch rat. I mean, come on, like, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that was really hard to sit through seeing a a creature like that, just so so disgusting. One of the ugliest animals I've ever seen in my life, honestly. Top 10. But I'll be on the hunt. I will get it back. And I'll target other invasive species. I'll, I'll dedicate the rest of my life to it. Cut the cameras, I need to cry about this. <laughs> All right, haha, the joke's over. So, you know, don't kill wiener dogs. Like, it was a joke, so, you know. Uh, I'm, I get worried about what the internet will do sometimes. So, you know, if you see your cute little pooch, give him a little hug and a kiss. And uh, that's that. Don't kill wiener dogs. Shrimp weasels don't exist. Shrimp weasels don't exist either. Sorry.